Officials in Afghanistan say an American soldier is behind a violent rampage that left at least 16 dead, including nine children and three women. It happened in Kandahar province. As Barbara Hall reports, the soldier turned himself in after the shooting. Multiple civilians were killed and others wounded after an American soldier left his base in Afghanistan and went on a rampage in two nearby villages. It happened in Kandahar, Afghanistan. Among the victims, several women and children. After the incident, officials say the soldier went back to the compound and turned himself in. It is not clear at this point uh, what the individual's motive was. Uh, it's also not clear and we don't know if the alleged uh, individual had any ties with those that were wounded. Um, again, we are looking into it. U.S. forces in Afghanistan is going to conduct a thorough investigation and our thoughts and concerns remain with the families who were affected. Today, President Obama called Afghan President Hamid Karzai to offer his condolences and express his shock and sadness over the tragic incident. The killings have angered many in Afghanistan as well as people here in the U.S. An Afghan community leader in Fremont called the killings an act of terror. Abu Bakr Mujahideen is with the League of Education and Afghan Development. He says Afghans in the Bay Area are demanding a thorough investigation into the killing spree. He says recent developments, including the recent Quran burning, have deeply strained the relationship between the two countries. He now believes it would benefit both sides if the U.S. can make a swift withdrawal from the 10-year-old Afghan war. Uh, I am a very optimistic person. I'm a very hopeful person, and I still hope, but I think it's uh, we're, we're walking on thin ice. We're walking on thin ice, unfortunately. Fremont has the highest Afghan population outside of Afghanistan and Pakistan in the world. Authorities in the East... At 11. Violence in Afghanistan tonight. We're learning more about the American soldier accused of opening fire on sleeping Afghan families. 16 people are now dead, including nine children and three women. The soldier is a staff sergeant from Washington assigned to support special ops units. He is now in custody. Officials say he turned himself in. U.S. officials say the rampage started when the American soldier left base. He attacked two nearby villages in Kandahar, killing women and children. It is not clear at this point uh, what the individual's motive was. Uh, it's also not clear, and we don't know if the alleged uh, individual had any ties with those that were wounded. Um, again, we are looking into it. U.S. forces in Afghanistan is going to conduct a thorough investigation and our thoughts and concerns remain with the families who were affected. President Obama says he's deeply saddened by the shooting of Afghan civilians and he is vowing to hold anyone found responsible accountable. The White House released this photo of the president calling Afghan President Hamid Karzai to express his shock over the shooting rampage. Karzai calls the incident, quote, unforgivable. Here in the Bay Area, well, aside from the Afghan president, many Afghans living in the U.S. are demanding swift justice. Crown Force Dalin has more on the local reaction. The killings have angered many in Afghanistan as well as people here in the U.S. An Afghan community leader in Fremont calls the killings an act of terror. Abu Bakr Mojadidi is with the League of Education and Afghan Development. He says Afghans in the Bay Area are demanding a thorough investigation into the killing spree. He says recent developments, including the recent Quran burning, have deeply strained relationship between the two countries. Uh, I am a very optimistic person. I'm a very hopeful person, and I still hope but I think it's, uh, we're, we're walking on thin ice. We're walking on thin ice, unfortunately. Well, Jadidi believes it would benefit both countries if the U.S. makes a swift withdrawal from the 10-year-old Afghan war. On a side note, Fremont has the highest Afghan population in the U.S. In the newsroom, I'm Da Lin, Cron 4 News. After an American soldier shot and killed 16 civilians and uh, burned their bodies, the shootings in two villages carried out by an army sergeant who's now in custody. Here's some of the latest, uh, the image of the president uh, calling uh, Hamid Karzai, the Afghan president, uh, saying he was deeply saddened by the shooting um, and uh, expressing shock as well as uh, Karzai condemning the attack, calling it an assassination. Uh, the killings have angered many in Afghanistan as well as people here in the U.S. in the Bay Area. Uh, many people out uh, reacting to the massacre as well. Crown Force World Trend live in Fremont with more on that part of the story. Will, good morning.
Good morning, Mark. We're in an area known as Little Kabul in Fremont, and Fremont has the largest Afghan population outside of Afghanistan as well as Pakistan. And across the street, you can see a movie theater. There are many shops down here. We got a chance to talk to a lot of locals. Here's what they had to say about what happened in, in Afghanistan. Uh, I am a very optimistic person. I'm a very hopeful person, and I still hope. But I think it's uh, we are, we're walking on thin ice. We're walking on thin ice, unfortunately. Now, also, they said that possibly the best resolution to end up all of this, including the investigation and what could happen to this, U this U.S. soldier, is for the U.S. to quickly withdraw from that area. They believe perhaps that could soothe things over, but of course that's beyond their level of expertise as far as the White House is concerned. The White House says they are still investigating this, very saddened, but they said they, they, we don't know yet whether or not this will prompt the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan any sooner than 2014. Back to you. All right, well, thanks for the update, Dr.